Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. I was too busy ki getting killed by that camper in there. Oh, you don't know what a camper is? Well, actually, that's what I'm talking to you about today. What a camper is and how to prevent them. So, let's just, let's just start. Let's find out what a camper is. So, here's a camper. No, no, not that kind of camper. This kind of camper. Oof. A camper is someone who positions themselves strategically to give them an advantage over their opponents. This happens usually in one entrance rooms or hallways. As you can see, I'm about to demonstrate a good um, not camping, uh, camping area and a non-camping area. So let's start with an overview. As you can see, the zombies rush into their inevitable slaughter. Look, there's a turret sitting at the end with sandbags and everything. And a long hallway for the zombies to just get slaughtered in. Even no matter how fast they rush or how many times they push, they just can't kill them. The human is just too well set up, which is a big problem. So that is not what you want to do. You want to do something more like the following. Two entrances. As you can see, the human has to cover both sides with one turret. And it's really hard for him. As you can see, we're actually able to take him out pretty easily. And that was a lot better. So actually, there are many examples of this in even the matchmaking maps, and I'm going to show you a couple of those. Some maps that do follow form and are not campable, and some that um, don't follow form. So, just going to start you out with um, the low vent on sword base. Look at this guy, just camping in the back, taking out zombies with ease. It may be fun for him, but it's definitely not fun for the zombies. And you want everyone to have fun when you're making a good infection map. Then the, um, at the top of the lift, the one entrance room but on countdown, just standing there, pistonless down like a boss, but it's not fun for us, definitely fun for him. Then the next one is um, bathroom on powerhouse, one entrance, and great for taking care of business. So as you can see, those are not good. You do not want to have places like that. But there are places in matchmaking that actually are good. Let's start out with reflection. So as you can see, the top of the lift here has three entrances. And it's incampable. And it's pretty easy to get taken out. Also, the middle ring on Asylum is not too campable. So it's a good place. Yeah, so that's really it. Um, not much else to talk to you about. I mean, I just see a lot of maps that do not follow form like that. And just aren't good. And if you ever find yourself in a testing lobby and you see a map that has these kind of problems, make sure to report it to the creator. The creator will definitely appreciate the added intel so that they won't have to do with this in the future. Don't be like this guy. Troll, 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 troll. No, no one likes a troll who rage quits and screams. So just don't do that. And I hope you guys actually learn something from this. And there'll be more infection tips coming out soon that will teach you the best how to make your map the best it can be. So that's really it. Bye. Stop doing that, you stupid troll.